running clothesline. Here we go with six of WWE's top superstars vying to be the last competitor standing. Well, you can't ask Ouch. for much more than this, especially given how talented these women are. Oh. Oh. Belly to belly suplex. Vicious strike. Oh, vicious body shot. What a stop. Good grief. What a hurt, Karana. Looking a little dazed here. Yeah, she's definitely not looking herself right now, Cole. What a strike. She's taking on some offense here. Here's what we're going to see what she's made of. Yeah, but she still has to be considered a legitimate contender to win this battle royal. She certainly hasn't looked impressive here tonight, guys, but it's still early and things can turn around on a dime here in WWE. You gotta believe this one's over. Harsh impact. Shoulder right to the midsection. It's important to remember, as with any WWE Battle Royal, that a superstar is eliminated when they go over the top rope and both feet touch the floor. Six-man Battle Royals have been used over the years to determine everything from who the number one contender is for a WWE Championship to who will be a certain entry number in the Royal Rumble match. What a strike. Right on the mark. Using the elbow as a weapon. What a strike. Six-man battle royals have made for some exciting moments on both Raw and SmackDown. To your point earlier, Corey, it's important to superstars to remember that just because there are a fewer number of competitors in this battle royal, the rules for elimination and thus for victory are the same. Oh, they're exactly the same, Michael. And here's something else that's the same as a traditional 20, 30, or 40-person battle royal. The dangers. The battle royal remains one of the most dangerous types of matches in sports entertainment today. The superstar needs to look over both shoulders at all times. Gotta wonder how this is gonna end, Byron. Whatever happens, it's not gonna be good. I can tell you that. When I think of a six-man battle royal, I often think of how different the strategy is for a superstar who's competing in it. Yes, the objective is the same, to be the last person standing in the ring, but there are only six superstars. You're not able to hide among the trees, so to speak, as well as the battle royals with 20, 30, or 40 superstars. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Oh, and it's a reversal. All right, you made a great point earlier when talking about the different strategy a superstar needs to employ in a six-man battle royal as opposed to a battle royal with a much larger number of participants. In a six-man battle royal, a superstar has to be ready for anything right away and can't expect any time to catch their breath. There's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide in a six-man battle royal. Action's coming right to your door at every turn, and a superstar must be ready to eliminate an opponent at any time. They also must be able to defend against an elimination attempt at any time. She's in a bad way here, Byron. Don't count her out yet, Michael. Look at her go. Looks like she's starting to stumble a bit. At this point, you have to wonder if she can recover from this. When you start becoming fatigued in a match like this, the other competitors in the ring can sense it. Oh. Believe me, she has a big target on her back. Like Michigan during our last presidential election, this match is too close to call at this point. Nailed it. And look at back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. Severe damage being inflicted to the back. One of the most intense six-man battle royals I've ever witnessed took place on SmackDown in 2008. It was Jeff Hardy, Big Show, Great Khali, Umaga, MVP, and Mr. Kennedy all throwing down to see who would be the number one contender for the WWE Championship. The winner would take on then WWE Champion, Triple H. The six-man battle royal on SmackDown was an exciting time. 
Corey, just to help put things in perspective, WWE officials had to order the ring to be reinforced for this matchup because between the six superstars, there was more than three quarters of a ton of humanity in the ring. That was not more obvious than when Big Show battled Umaga and the great Kali. One by one, the field cleared. The WWE Universe became unglued when Jeff Hardy eliminated the Big Show with a Hurricane Rana over the top rope. With the great Kali down, the charismatic Enigma followed that with a swanton bomb. The Kali's size and strength were too much, and the Giant eliminated Jeff Hardy to become the number one contender for the WWE Championship. A great six-man battle royal was the number 30 over the top. Uh-oh. Poised and ready. Set up. Right across the back of the neck. She got all of it there. Byron, you took us back in time with the number 30 over the top rope challenge on Raw. The thing about that battle royal that is so memorable to me is the way Goldberg dominated the match early on. She might have it. Bam! Ooh, on the mark. Let's check this out again, Corey. So effective, Cole. Beautiful technique. What a stop. Good grief. on fire how much more punishment needs to be dished out just finish it this six-man match may have taken it all out of her this is all but over she looks shocked right now guys i don't think in her wildest dreams she thought she would be in this position right now looking at it a second time the final elimination and this one is over and here's another look at what made that match so special that's a woman on a mission. Who can forget this? And here's how she finished this thing. Wow, what an amazing performance we saw here in this elimination match. Anytime you can pick up a win inside a WWE ring, you have something to be extremely proud of and give this Houston crowd credit for being on their feet almost the entire match.